we, you know, we've had a few co competitive games this year and have done well and, and showed great character to come through them. Uh, we saw today, though, how far we still have to go. Um, you know, a Kerry team and you know a lot of people were saying they're they're old and they mightn't have the appetite. But you just saw the appetite there today. And um, you know, they're 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 real, they're real champions and they'll be they'll be very difficult for whoever they play in the final. I suppose it's very hard last year being knocked out in the quarter final, like, and uh, I suppose sitting down all our final day in your I suppose your chair at home, like watching TV, like, and you're not there, like, um, I suppose it's a big difference from the last couple of years when we were there, like, and uh, I suppose when we came back in January, like, our our one aim was to get to an all Ireland final, like, and I suppose we talked about that before the game today. That's, that's what we wanted from the start of the year and we worked hard and I suppose the last two and a half weeks there after the Limerick game um, we worked very hard in training like, and uh, we, put, we left all the work out there today and get in the field. Kerry, Kerry has shown they've won all Ireland, they've lost all Ireland, but the year they've come back, they've always, the next year they came back, they've, they've always been better. And uh, if Mayo want to, if this senior team wants to, wants to improve and we want to build as a county, we, we need to do similar. Kevin, it's interesting they're listening to the Mayo guys. They're suggesting there is still a gulf between Mayo and Kerry. Well, there absolutely is a gulf, and the scoreline today, 11 points spread in the end, uh, would show the gulf. I don't think too many would have predicted that margin of victory, yeah. but I think the vast majority would have predicted a, a Curry win. And uh, the summary by, by the Mayo management and indeed Andy Moore, is a very realistic one. You know, they're in year one of, 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 the, of the new management, of the project, if you like. And the key for them is to win another Connacht Championship next year and come back and build on it. They're up against a team that's been on the go since 04 or 05. Fabulous experience and fabulous footballers. And where we thought Curry would win the game in the forward line is exactly how it panned out. Not quite right. the margin we thought, but... We'll look, we'll look at that later on. Yeah. Uh, how good were Kerry in your book, Jason? They were very good. They were excellent. You know, I suppose they probably didn't think it at the time, but I suppose the defeat to down last year, I suppose we can only dream what it's like to play in, in eight All-Irelands in ten mm -hmm. years. Yeah. But I'm sure last year was the first kind of couple of big games they haven't been played in. I'm sure when they came back training, there was no lack of motivation and mm -hmm. they're sitting pretty where they wanted to be at the start of the year. Consider himself extremely lucky that he wasn't red carded. Uh, the next one we're going to see... There's another Mayo player involved on the Hogan side where uh, Keith Higgins drives a, a knee into Darnell Sullivan. He had to be taken off, injured uh, later on. And that's, you know, you can't be at that. They're red card offences. Uh, and it's not, uh, I would say, not a Mayo style uh, that uh, certainly Mayo followers would, would want to be looking at. Donald Vaughan uh, is blocked. And there's another argument that perhaps we can have. Uh, he was blocked by uh, young Maher, his run and he reacted uh, by fisting him. Yeah. Um, now, absolutely, can't do it. You can't take the law into your own hand. But this blocking that's going on is, is, re is remaining unpunished by referees. They were on top of it a few years yeah. ago, and now they're not bothering with it. When you're checked, it's really, really frustrating, yeah? yeah? You're still playing, Jason, yeah? Yeah, it was something I remember referees kind of um, clamped, clamped down on a couple of years ago, and straight away, if someone went for the give and go and was blocked in any way, the, the, the free was given, you know? And it seems to kind of have gone away, and now you have guys kind of taking, Take making their own kind of yeah. rules out there, which you don't like to see. Well, it's you, part. It's part. It's part of the modern day football. You know, coaches. You know, you look at take the likes of Darren Sullivan, who's very good at taking the ball of the yeah, full forward. Yeah, what yeah. you have to do is stop him before he starts. That's yeah, that's, that's, that's part. That's part. Of, part of part of this. And I mean, it's up to strong referees in that situation. But you can't take the law into mm. your own hand. Can I make one more point, Ed? Just yeah. a very quick one. Uh, the introduction of Paul Galvin, and you know, the the, the sense that uh, there's an edginess to him. But c can I make a small defence for Paul Galvin uh, in terms of when he's been introduced in these games? He's not a punch bag for opposition players, and I, I, I strongly feel referees are judging him on his reputation, that they're not giving him the sort of protection. Now, he's well able to look after himself, I, I accept yes. that. But some of, the, some of the attention he's getting is unfair, and it's outside the rules of the game. Like Every player deserves to be treated fairly when, when it comes to it, the attention of the yeah. opposition. Yeah, it's interesting about okay. Galvin, just make a couple of points about what he adds to Kerry. I mean, today they were struggling to get him on the field. He picks up the breaking ball in the middle of the field. He supports. He, Gooch is a better player when he's on the field because he gives him quality ball, and, and he's, he's better at defending. He does help the defence when they do need, yeah. they need that, yeah. and, he, and he's able to score. So he adds a lot to it. Now, will he start in the All-Ireland final or not? That's a big question. Will Jack O'Connor prefer to leave him on the bench and take him in when the game is settled well, down or not? He'll want to start him if at all possible, I well, think. It'll be a big My favourite tweet from all our listeners today was when Paul Galvin came on, a tweet came in, Paul Galvin comes on despite the fact that 14 other fellas are wearing exactly the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's move on to our nominees for Man of the Match. Kevin, the three nominees. Well, we've talked about uh, Cullum Cooper, who again was splendid today. Yeah. Uh, in the Mayo side, I thought George Cafferty put in a, a, a marvellous effort on Kieran Dunne and really can be very proud of his uh, performance at three. 
And young O'Leary in the corner for uh, Curry. Jason uh, was uh, looking at it very closely. Was very impressed with him as well. Uh, Kieran O'Leary put in a, a really good, a, a really good show today. Okay, and then. Our winner, Martin. Yeah, well, I mean, there was only one winner yeah. today. The difference. <laughs> it was unusually. But, but I have to say, you know, since Matt Connor played Gilly football, the best footballer I've ever seen playing Gilly Cup football was Peter Kahneman. And what he had was vision as well as, you know, two good feet and everything else. And he knew the right time to do things. Like, like today, we saw Cooper taking the goal. That was finishing the game. Great so he, players so are he able is to our do man that. Of the match. He's, he's definitely yeah, our man of the match. Brilliant. And now, you were a forward as well. I mean, Jason has spoken about his ability to, f to make yeah. space and find space. Yeah, it's his vision as well. And see here, going up to catch a ball. I mean, this is, lad, there's no doubt about it, his natural talent. He had a ball in his hand from the time he was able to walk. It's plain to be seen that he's yeah. too, too great for it. We see a lot of good footballing brothers, that, I think, who dragged him yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Take him. see that there. And I mean, kick that, he kicked that free over the bar. Brian Sheen had gone off at that stage. He just, as captain of the team, he his, his point with his right foot the first half was a very important score, and the goal made the difference. You know, we, people thought up till today, Des, that maybe the captaincy was putting a bit of pressure on him. He loves Crow Park and he loves performing in, yeah. in Crow Park. No doubt about it. You know, he showed that class today. When, when, when they needed it, especially yeah, in the first half. Important. Yeah. I mean, he's able to score right foot, left foot, and his vision is what makes a player different. And I've always said, when you look at players like Kahneman and himself, he passes the ball and nobody in the ground knows until it goes there. And then you realise what a player. He, he had the right. vision ahead of anybody else, and that's what makes him a great player. Okay. Well, let's hear from him then. After the match, Colin Cooper spoke with Claire McNamara. Mairead Kremen from Super Value is here to present Colm with his Man of the Match award. Colm, a huge contribution from you today, including uh, your first goal of the summer. Yeah, it took a while to come, but um, delighted it came today. You know, it came at a stage where we were just after scoring one themselves, so um, it came at the right time, and thankfully we got over the line. And of course, Kerry back in an All Ireland final. Yeah, that's what we were looking to achieve today coming up, you know, we knew Mayo were going to come with a, with a, with a tough battle and uh, in fairness, they, any time we, sne we sneaked away from them, they came back at us and had a few shots off the post and things that on another day could have uh, been so different, but we're delighted to get back to another All Ireland and um, we'll be looking forward to a month's time. Huge uh, eagerness, I imagine, to make up for the disappointments of last year as well. Yeah, last year was a disappointing year for Kerry, you know, we've a big expectation and we're looking to get to the final every year and um, last year was disappointing but we've, we've, we've wiped that slate clean and we're, we're, we're looking forward to the 2011 championship and thankfully we're in, we're in a final now but um, I suppose the real work starts now. Alright, well done to Colm. Now a short break.